Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android quick tip, or more specifically a Google Assistant quick tip. Um, I say Android because I don't know if this will work, is or is something that can work on the iOS version of Google Assistant. I assume that the setting or an option is there, and it's worth a shot, but I will share the Google version, and the, or the Android version anyways. So with Google Assistant, it recently got updated to now have um, searching by text. So um, the default action is to... typing whatever you want um, but let's say you prefer typing instead and you want that to be your default action what you'll do is you'll open up your Google app and go into the set for um, your in the Google app for your various settings at the top you'll see an option or a section for Google assistant settings so you'll open up the settings under the uh, devices section you'll see phone um, I assume it's separated by phones and tablets and things like that wherever whatever is associated with your Google account that supports Google Play and at the bottom you'll see a thing called preferred input so when you touch that you'll see voice and keyboard so when you saw a keyboard now rather than defaulting to voice Google Assistant will default to a keyboard so now when I open up Google Assistant the voice action uh, no longer starts by default. I can still, I still have to swipe on touch a message, but it's at the bottom of the screen. It's easy for my thumb to get to, and I can um, easily do whatever search I want. So if I want to do a search for, um, I guess, or I'm having, I was going to do a search for Spider-Man, but if you want to easily just do that search by text, then you now have that option. So that's all there is for this particular um, review. Like I said, it's a quick tip. It's just easily changing the set. You can easily search in Google Assistant by text, which is um, a Mickey Sun related version of the app via Google. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can find this review and all the reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Um, and, and, of course, you can subscribe to the show. Or, sorry, subscribe and support the show by visiting Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this review. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.